Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. In today's video I'm going to do a lower leg service on my Fat Bikes Bluto Forks. They're well overdue for a service. Now as many of you know this is my main bike for all the riding that I do and during that time I've always used the mudguard and before each ride where possible I wipe down the forks with a clean cloth apply some fork oil around the seals push down the forks to lift out any dirt and I've always done that on most occasions and also out on the rides I have a similar cloth to this in my backpack and if the fork stanchions are getting a bit dirty or grubby whether that's dust or mud I'll wipe them down wherever possible so I've always done that on a regular basis in the time that I've been riding this bike but as I said they're well overdue for a service I've made a video on this little sewing machine bottle with fork coil, and like then and like now I say again this isn't a substitute for having your fork service depends on your riding conditions where you ride how you ride but even I can say that after a good few number of years my forks do need looking at just for peace of mind so have a look at that video I'll leave a link to it in the video description below and I do recommend that you carry this around in your toolbox wherever you go so join me in this video to see what they do look like having not been serviced for such a long time now that time is six and a half years that's how old this bike is let's see what regular cleaning and maintenance can can do or hasn't done I take all the blame but at the moment the forks are in my opinion running still as smoothly as I bought them and I know that because I have a brand new set of Bluetooth forks that have never been ridden and when I push down on those still sort of the same characteristics as these forks so I hope you'll join me on this video where I'm going to take these forks off strip them down put new sponges in put new seals in and see how they fared after all these years I've prepared all the stuff that I need up front I have the 15W oil this will go in the lower legs I have some 5WT to soak the seal sponges I have a seal press and with that take the seals out I've got a tire lever got syringes got spanners uh, seal service kit SRAM butter grease and importantly a torque wrench I'll be using this bike stand to hold the forks to rotate the forks and drain in the oil and the catching oil I'll have a couple of buckets just to be safe I've already wiped down the forks with isopropanol alcohol just to make sure everything's clean. I'm going to reinsert the axle bolt just for a safety precaution since if, if this falls over probably fracture something so this is just purely a safety precaution just to put the through axle back in. Remove the rebound and put this away in a safe place. Five millimeter hex to go in the bottom of the legs and loosen up the stanchion bolts. them out a little bit but not fully now what we do is have to shock the bolts at the bottom to loosen it all up So the, those are the end bolts removed, now the lower legs should just come off. Oh, that was pretty straightforward. And yes, the oil is a little bit dirty. And that's the bath oil. It's not exactly a clear colour. Right, let's have a look at the rest of the damage. Well, considering these are looking as good as I had hoped. I think my continuous bathing of oil seals has done the trick over the years. I can't see any marks on those stanchions at all. Well pleased with those. And the bushes are looking pretty good too. So now to remove those seals. Let's see what this one looks like after a, a good number of years. Apart from me damaging it, slightly taking it out. 
while it's still supple it's still a nice sharp edge on the seal lip and it wasn't overly mucky oiling the seals on every ride has done the trick it's kept the dirt out of here mind let's have a look at the wipe don't know if you can see that that's looking pretty um i say not mucky but it's not clean Same as the other one. And the same as the other one. Not caked in mud, but certainly not clean. So I don't have to be proud of the fact that I've been regularly servicing or lubing my forks over the years, cleaning them, but these are looking pretty damn good for the fact that they haven't really been serviced before. Mind you, I'm not saying that you shouldn't service your forks. You should service your forks to the conditions that you ride in. And obviously I've been riding in apparently very good conditions for the last few years because these are, in my opinion, pretty good. And given the state of the stanchions, which are nice and buttery smooth, no nicks or scratches on there, proves of the fact that these are pretty good too. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash these out thoroughly, get all whatever gunks out the bottom, most of it's gone into the bu bucket, uh, try and clean these up, dry them up, and put it all back together again. 12 seconds later. So that's all the lower leg stanchions cleaned out and dried with a, after washing them out with soap and water, I've dried them off now. The bushes look fine, upper and lower. Same on the other side. Now we're going to insert the new seals and wipers. I'm going to put these in dry and then lube afterwards. That will cut down on any wastage. So I've got the Pacific press tool here, 32mm for a 32mm bush. And that pushes on like that pushes down then push this into the fork Now apply some SRAM butter. Take this 5WT weight oil and apply it to the sponges using a syringe. Now just carefully slide these back onto the stanchions. Careful not to uh, crease the seals. Side on. Now I just need to put in the bathing oil, that's 15WT 10ml. Now I have to do the tricky little bit, is to try and line up the rods to come back through the holes. So I'm going to put this back in, or I've replaced the crush washer. See, 
if this works. And the same, I've replaced the crush washer on this side too. So now using a torque wrench set to 7 newton meters, tighten up those bolts just a bit more. That's the forks back together, all nicely torqued up. Just wipe off the excess grease and ready to put back on the bike. Okay, that's the forks back on the bike, and I've got to say, they are noticeably a bit more plush. And I didn't think they were bad in the first place, but there is a difference. And that just goes to show you shouldn't be afraid to service your forks. It may be a little bit messy, not quite as fast as the YouTube videos, but it is a relatively simple process as long as you've got everything lined up and ready to go. Yeah, and I'm very pleased with that. But I will be continuing to lube the top of the seals with my little sewing machine oil. Even though I should have serviced these perhaps long ago, it does go to show with regular cleaning and keeping those stanchions clean, lubricating those seals, I do believe these forks have done very, very well. The fact that they should have been serviced a little bit more often. Probably got away with that one. Anyway, if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more maintenance type videos, I know this wasn't particularly a maintenance tip type video, but I hope it encourages you uh, to service your forks if you haven't done it for a while. I know I should have done mine a long time ago, and it really isn't that bad. Anyway, be sure to hit that subscription button to turn on notifications to see more videos like this. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.